What's up, my little parklings? How's it going? Thank you for joining me today, where every day from Monday to Friday, we will take a look at a different game to see if it's worth your hard uh, money. Or if it's not, if you like what you see, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And on a Friday, if I do any Let's Play, I'll put it up then so you've got a bonus video. Let's get to the video. What's up, parklings? How's it going? I hope you're having a good day today. We are taking a look at Defenders of the Omniverse. This is a bullet hell game. Now, I was sent this to test out by a developer for a free key. So we're going to start on this screen first. So I want to show you some stuff. Now, these are um, unlocks in the game and you get credits for it, which you use to power up your individual. So, so as you can see, I've unlocked uh, this character and a few others for doing basic things in the game, like uh, defeat 500 enemies, stuff like that. That was just in 10 minutes. So unlocking them is pretty easy. Here is where you can spend some of these on to power up your character for increased strength. But there is one in particular. Uh, which one was it? XP, movement speed, armor. Ah, that. Now I'm not going to get that because it's going to give me an um, unfair advantage in the first stages because obviously you guys can't get that. But to be able to regenerate 0.1 health per second that is going to be a massive game changer for when you're playing the actual game. And I advise you to get this one first. So I would get that first after you've died in your first run because part of these games are dying a lot. And you can also refund them as well, which I think is pretty cool. So if you change your mind, because there are quite a few different ones here. So um, let's have a look at the base game and then I might jump out, get that power up, see how much difference it makes. I think it'll make a massive difference in the actual game. But there you go. Right, uh, this is the only level so far. So this should be out by the time the embargo on the reviews is up. If not, I'm still going to put it up anyway. Right, I've had a little go with that lady. Uh, her attack is a short sword so you stabbed them behind kind of thing. I think that's why she's got better armor and strength than that. Um, I thought it was awful. <laughs> I do not like that character. Give her like a throwing days or something. Um, I like this dude. Jake Fawn. He's awesome. Right. Uh, tsh. What have we got here? Timer. Time. Right. That. I haven't been on yet. Nor have I been on net. I don't want to go on both of them. So it looks like I'm sticking to the left hand side. That's a normal fight. That's an elite fight, which is right at the beginning. Um, that is the merchant. Uh, I don't really care about merchant. Right. Loot Goblin. I don't know what that is, and I do not know what that one is, because I have not played either one of these two. So I'm going to stay on the left-hand side to begin with. Right, as you can see, it shoots wherever you're pointing. On the right hand side, you've got a mini map. Above that, you've got how many enemies you defeat. Once that goes to 100%, the level's over. And it auto collects anything left on the stages. Now, it might look easy, but it does ramp up. Right, increase experience gain 2.5, decrease cooldown of all weapons by three percent damage from three to four point nine uh let's go more experience i haven't picked that yet before like i said i only had a quick go of it i've got to a boss and uh it did not go very well Well, about two to three. Yeah, let's get more blasters going. Oh, 
All right, 97. So it's like these are the last ones. Right, they should all come towards me now. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Increase max health by 10%. Gain more experience. Decrease cooldown of all weapons by 3. Yes, go. Decrease cooldown, please. <laughs> Mega Hammer. Cosmetic Hammer smashes ground so hard that it creates a damage zone. Summons a Phoenix orbiting around the hero. Fires a plasma shot. Ooh. These two sound more fun. I don't know if that replaces his gun though. Uh, let's find out. Can I get him to do the hammer? Oh, no, it's sitting there though. Well, I'll go on the left hand side of it. Wow, that's my hammer fix. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> that's just random when they land. That might actually be really help for a boss. I want to see if they damage me. No. I just make sure if they damage me or not. Bah, we've got shooters. Right, one of them is down this side. Right, yeah, take out the shooters first because they will hammer you from a distance. Uh, any falls between attack. Um, let's do knockback is what I want. Cooldown's cool, but I want the knockback. Right, I'm out of uh, rolls in a minute. Yeah, gunner. I think that's regeneration on the floor down there. Yeah. That's a can, but I can't pick it up. Come to me. This is where you stock all the stuff you pick up from level up. It's up here, by the way. And that's uh, the hammer I picked up. So it puts items like weapons net down here and uh, relics net up there. Right, duration 2.2, got better knockback or got better base damage. I'm gonna do better base damage. I like the music in this. I hope it's not a uh, copy run. Oh no, they got shooters, I forgot about them. Right, where those shooters? Oh, he's on the bottom right hand side, I should be going straight towards him, there he is. Right, they've released the dogs. Right, another shoot here. Let's take him out. Oh, you little nerds, get away. Well, Mega Hammer, so increase drop pickup range. Uh, intervals between attacks. Uh, or cooldown. Um, intervals between attacks. Right. Oh, get through that. There you are. Take out the nerds with the giant guns. Get him. Yes. Right, got him. Don't. Right, eighty-nine percent.
I think I've got some of my energy back then. A massive group of uh, chests and that over this side. So I'm rather getting them. Right, increased size of all attacks and projectiles by 5%. Intervals between attacks, size, all. So they're both. Uh, let's get on. Because they're both size related. Right, gain more experience. Uh, I'm not really worried about that. Three to nine damage for the hammer. Projectile speed. Um, I'll go for hammer damage. It's random, but if it hits like a boss in the face, I think that'd be pretty cool. Right, now we're on to the merchant. Uh, then we've got a boss. Then I get to pick one of them two when I get up there, which is what I want to do. Trade and chill. Increase maximum health by 10%. Uh, uh, size 105 to 115. Ooh. Increase duration and a lifetime of all attacks by 10%. Cooldown is reduced. Damage from 9 to 12 for the hammers. Cooldown is reduced. Now you can use this to heal for 10 of these blue ones. Because that's what you use during the run. That's what you use after the run to upgrade stuff. Right, uh, we'll go cold on. I'm going to increase the power of the hammers. Well, 10 more left. Um, let's increase the size as well. I ain't got enough of that. Dang it. What have we got enough for? Cool down and cool down of blaster. Let's cool down of blaster. Right now we've got uh, the mini boss. This one that killed me last time. Oh, I thought that was a shot from the boss then. Those hammers. <laughs> I forgot they have my own uh, majigs. Yeah, it, this is the one that killed me last time. Stupid fat pig boy. That's why. He used up all my uh, roll in out of danger like that. Stupid pig boy. Ah, oh, it's too many of them now. Right, we gotta dodge around for a bit. Which means he's gonna start dropping more of that stuff. <laughs> my way. I'm trying to kill that. No. Oh. Oh, he killed me then. <laughs> right, we've got not back. We've got a man. Two to three. Or well, duration. I'm going to try and get three of them. Get him, get him, get him. Right, that uh, black gooey stuff slows you right down. Right, projectile speed. Uh, reduce incoming damage by 2%. Increase hero's movement speed by 10%. Let's do armor. As you can see, see that uh, delay then for like a fraction of a second when you come out of that screen. I am nearly dead.
Oh, I think I might have actually, uh... Oh, what's that? Wait, so I can get to pick one or have I got all three? Oh, wow. I get all three of those. Oh, that's pretty cool. I've never had that before. Right, that... <laughs> that poor screen thing killed me. Oh, that's annoying, that poor screen. So whenever you upgrade or anything like that, as soon as you exit, it slows you down for about... Half a second to a second. And that really does put you off. Alright, let's claim all these. Alright, I'm going to go into power-ups. I want to give myself uh, regeneration. That would also be nice. Less damage. Cover 10% max health whenever a hero gains a new level. Oh. Hero generation 0.2 per second. So I get that one at once. Okay, so I only get it once. Right, recover 12% of max health whenever hero gains a level. Okay. 0.3 per second. Uh, let's give ourselves some health boost shelf there. All right, let's see how much of a difference this actually makes. And you can refund that if you change your mind, which is pretty cool. All right, cool. All right, here we go again. What was that? That's the time survival. That's the merchant shop. I didn't find out what he's worth, did I? Right, that's because that's the boss. Let's go this side. Let's avoid the boss. So I can find out. Well, I won't be able to find out what that is, will I? Oh, you nerd. So it's only if I go to boss route, I get to fight these. Right. Uh, yeah, we'll try going to boss route then. I think, even though it's like a... 0.2 regeneration the fact that you can do some regeneration i think it's gonna make a massive massive difference all right increase health regeneration by 0.1 increase strength by 10 percent raising all weapons damage or oh, let's do that one all right it's another crate here about halfway through these baddies all right weapons get 25 percent chance for an extra attack projectile speed increase size of all attack and projectiles by five percent uh weapons get a 25 percent chance for an extra attack uh let's go for the faulty space let's increase the size of our bullets Well, there's a blue one just up here. Well, there's a gold one just below me. Let's get on. Uh, I think that's it. All right, we've got strength, cooldown, and damage. Uh, let's go strength. Place mushrooms that explode when enemy comes in contact. That should be fun. Slime grenade launches a cute slime that explodes after three bounces. A swarm of tiny bitty spiders surrounds the hero, dealing damage to all enemies nearby. Let's go nano spiders. Couple more till we face the boss again. I wonder if it's gonna be the same uh, piggy. 
Oh, is this the spiders? Ah, oh, so it's like a touch force field. I wonder how long that lasts. Or oh, it's just permanent. What? Rolls. Right, you need to be dealt with. It's supposed to be like orcs. I've got nano spiders, nano spiders size or cooldown. Or can I have knockback? Um, I'm gonna go size. Once you take out the uh, range, you kind of uh, relax a little bit. Till I start with the dogs later on and everything else. I got nano, spider size, knockback, and damage. I'm going to go for damage. All right, power armor or a simply leaf. Uh, let's go for more regeneration. Right, got a normal fire and then the shot. Right, there's a box below me, one to the right, one above. Right, there should be a blue one just here somewhere. There it is. There we go. Alright, let's take out our shooters. Alright, here comes the dogs. Get out of the way, little goblins. I'm trying to take dogs out. A thirty, forty percent.
Oh, there's another shoot on the left hand side. Oh, I'll go straight down here. Should get that shooter back in range. Where is he? Ah, uh, he's right up with the main crowd, isn't he? 70% left. Right, uh, projectile speed or not back? Let's go speed. Yeah, I got all what? Increase max health by 10%. Damage your spiders, projectile speed. I'm going to get a spirit stone because I can regenerate. I can build up more and more health. I think that might be the way to go. Right, let's go uh, see the merchant and then boss. And I'll get to pick one of these two. So that even when you're teleporting in, I've got to push up a few times for it actually uh, to engage because it's stuck a little bit. Right, we can get uh, not a lot. So I've only got 10. Um, increase drop pickup range. Increase projectile speed. I'll go and go for range. Because it means I can level up without actually having to go that far to collect stuff. Right, I think it's going to be Pig Boy. Let's have a look. I was on the bottom right. Oh. oh I've only killed 14 percent. Right, big boy. medicine now it's gonna go there ah Stuck in that black stuff then, that's not good. Why right, he's starting that nonsense, is he? Oh, I'm stuck in that black guy. <laughs> right, uh let's go down spice. Roll. Roll. Get off that black stuff, man. Ah. 
Right, I need a green. Uh, roll, roll. I'm out of rolls. No. <laughs> Yo, I ain't no bomb dudes. No, oh, I went down a second time. No! Ah, well, I thought I had it then, but um, clearly not. Right, I'm just gonna um, jump through some of the stages so I can show you the different ones. I'm gonna try and get the survival one, the tower one, and the building one. So I can show you what. This is the survival one. As you can see, you've got a timer there. You just have unlimited waves and waves and waves. Now, I think they take more shots of this. I think they've got more health as well. Halfway there, one minute left. Right, I'm out of rolls, which is not good. We've got 30 seconds. Seventeen seconds. Rock. Rock. Roll. Get away. By this time, I've managed to get up to uh, the loot goblin, so we can see what that one is. And I'm going to see if I can get to them ones next. What is loot goblins? Oh, defeat enemies in 30 seconds. Oh, you nerds. Oh, yeah. What my thingy to hit it? This reminds me of a uh, gauntlet. Oh, he's dead. Let's stick him in the corner. Uh, doesn't matter. I'm going to have to restart anyway to get on the other mission. He's still alive. Bro, I ain't supposed to kill him. <laughs> I'll go for it just to... Uh, Get the gold, eh? Right. I have managed to get to the destroy statues. I want to see what this one is. And that means I've seen everything. Let's go. Capture the statue. I thought it's destroy. I've just got to stay in this certain radius for a certain amount of time. I can get away to do box. Wow. No, it's an enclosed space. That does not go well for me. Ah, well, I three quarters. Keep going, keep going. Ah, stand outside as much as possible. Try to take out that bomber. Oh, uh. Let's do plasma gun. I haven't seen that one yet. 
Oh, oh so I see. Just literally capture a statue and... Okay. All right, definitely need uh, some more upgrades. I unlocked absolutely nothing. That's terrible. Um, but I hope it gives you an idea of the game, whether or not it's your kind of thing. Defenders of the Omniverse. Now, this did say it was a pre-release, so they're probably bugs. I've come across no bugs whatsoever. Nice sand, nice graphics. I like the power-up options. The fact you can refund them is pretty cool because some of these games don't allow you to. And uh, this one does, so that's pretty sweet. Definitely go for armor and regeneration. I'd say these two were very much key. 18%. That's not too bad, is it? But as always, it's not up to me. It's up to you guys, do you? Whether or not you buy this game. Defenders of the Omniverse. This has been Pulse Beal. Thank you for your time. Have a good day. Keep the pulse. Au revoir.